hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be all about getting to know me so I'm a little late in the game with this but I realized that I do not have a video on my channel for any of my old subscribers or my new subscribers to really just get to know me and know what I'm about know what I like and know what type of person I am and you can't really gain all of that from just watching YouTube tutorials and listening to voiceovers and things like that so I wanted to just sit down and do this tag answer a bunch of questions so you guys can just get to know me a little bit more personally and just really just see what type of person I am so what I did was just went on to Google and I combined a bunch of the questions from different tag videos and put them all together because I wanted some really really good questions that I think that you guys would have asked me anyway eventually I wanted some questions that were a little bit more personal but not too much so where I'm like uh, I don't really want to answer that and then I also wanted some that were kind of weird because we're all friends here right and it's always good to know some weird fun facts about your friends so some of these questions are really really good and then some of them are you know just the average questions that you would ask so if you guys want to get to know me a little bit better then just keep on watching so I have all the questions here on my phone and I'm just going to go down the list and we're just going to get started. So first question is, thing you cannot leave the house without? Cell phone. Obviously, I always, always, always have my cell phone. There have been times where I've left the house without my keys, without my wallet, driver's license, everything. But I have my phone in tow right along with me and I swear if my head wasn't attached to my body, I would leave that before I left my cell phone. So definitely phone. And number two is favorite brand of makeup. So I would definitely say that it's Too Faced. They have been my favorite brand since I first started using them, I believe in 2014. I got my first Too Faced product in 2013, but 2014 is when I really started buying a bunch of things from them. That was when I found out about the Chocolate Bar Palettes, their Melted Liquid Lipsticks, their La Creme Lipsticks. So I just really jumped on the Too Faced bandwagon and they still are my favorite brand, hands down. I will go straight to the Too Faced section when I go inside Sephora. So definitely Too Faced. My favorite flower. In all honesty, I don't have a favorite flower. Usually when guys ask what kind of flowers I want, I just tell them to pick out ones that they think look good because I don't really have a favorite. So, favorite clothing store. I'm going to say Forever 21. Uh, hands down. And I don't care if people are like, oh, I'm so tired of Forever 21. But I just, I know that I can go in there and I can find an outfit that I would like or something that I would always want to wear. A lot of my clothing pieces are from Forever 21. This jacket that I'm wearing right now is from Forever 21 as well as this little white camisole top. They just have the basic essentials and they're, they just always have cute things in the store. So definitely Forever 21. Favorite perfume? As of right now, I'm going to say it is the Escada Turquoise Summer. You guys heard me rave about that in my September favorites video. So I'm definitely going to say that is my favorite perfume. Before that one, it was Victor and Raw Flower Bomb. I still really, really love that one. I just never, never really mention it. But it's definitely Escada Turquoise Summer right now. Heels or flats? It all depends on the environment and where I'm going to be going. I love me some heels. My two closets that I have are filled with heels, heeled boots, heeled sandals, heels like just I love heels but I have a lot of flats as well because when I'm just going to kick it with the homies I'm not wearing heels. Um, if I'm just going like to shop around the mall I'm not wearing heels so it definitely depends on the environment. Do you make good grades? I'm not currently taking any classes right now, but when I was, yes, I was an AB student. Uh, I didn't want to settle for anything less. And because the Army pays for my schooling, if I were to fail a class or get a really, really low grade, I would have to pay for that class. And the classes I were taking were $750 a piece, so I ain't about that life. So I make good grades. Favorite colors. I would have to say that my favorite colors would be orange as number one then green and then I would have to say rose gold if I can count that as you know one of the normal colors so yeah those are my favorite colors do you drink energy drinks 
Yes, I do. I am actually addicted to one of them and it's called NOS, N-O-S. And I'm addicted to that drink. I have at least four of those a week. Um, they sell them at um, on post where I work at and I love those energy drinks. Before I used to think energy drinks were the worst thing for you. They give you heart palpitations. They can, you know, mess with your anxiety, mess with your sleep. Just I just thought energy drinks were terrible and then I got addicted to one. So I don't think they're terrible anymore. Do you drink juice? Yes, I drink juice more than I drink anything else. I drink juice more than I drink water. Um, I don't drink a lot of soda unless I'm going out somewhere, but juice is my number one. Do you like swimming? Not really. I have almost drowned twice in my lifetime, so I don't really do big bodies of water. And even in the pool, I like to stay in the five to six feet. That's it. Like, I'm not going anywhere else. And I doggy paddle when I'm in those, those uh, five and six feet. I doggy paddle when I'm in there. So, I don't really like swimming. Do you eat fries with a fork? No. I am not afraid to get these hands dirty. Fries are a finger food, and I'm going to eat them like that. Favorite moisturizer? Um, as of right now, my favorite moisturizer is the Clean and Clear Acne acne something I, I forgot what it's called because i just started using it but i absolutely love it it's in the gray and purple bottle and it's for acne prone skin it has salicylic acid in it i love that moisturizer it smells so good it's oil free it hasn't made my skin worse but it definitely has made it better i don't have any blemishes as of right now absolutely love that moisturizer i completely stopped using my cetaphil oil control moisturizer because I've been using that one and so far it has been clearing up my skin amazingly amazingly well I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell but I have no blemishes as of right now except for um the marks from blemishes that I previously had and they're going away but as far as a full-on pimple I don't have any of those right now so that's definitely my favorite moisturizer next question do you want to get married later on in life <sighs> this is a hard one I've I've been that type of person where I say that I'm not really into marriage. I feel like our generations have been really just, oh, this is a touchy, this is a touchy one. This is touchy. <sighs> yes, I would not mind getting married later on in life like I want to. It's just so hard because I feel like with this generation, we have really gotten away from morals and values and we've really forgotten that marriage is a commitment in front of God and it's not taken as that in this generation so I just I have been really 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 turned off by the idea of marriage and I know that's horrible to say I, I should remain optimistic but I honestly I am turned off by it now but I, I would love to get married later on in life if I found a person who thinks the same way that I do so do you get mad easily yes and it is a very bad habit i've been to anger management classes before like i said some of these questions are personal but not to the point where i don't want to answer them but i have been to anger management classes before i have been to behavioral health before i have talked to counselors before i am one of those type of people that get mad easily and it's not to the point where i could hurt somebody or hurt myself or you know people don't want to hang around me or you know i'm a loner or anything like that it's not that bad but there are times where i, I really need to take a deep breath and catch myself because i can come off really aggressive and i try not to talk to the people that i care about that way i try not to get as mad with them i also have a three-year-old son and I, I try to work on getting mad easily with him, most definitely. So, yeah, that's that. Are you into ghost hunting? Heck no. Heck no. I would never go to any type of haunted insane asylum or haunted hospital, haunted building. I'm not about that life. I scare too easily. I'm afraid of the dark, okay? I, I, I'm not about that life. Any phobias? Yes 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 and i blame jackie anna for this oh my god so i'm getting goosebumps right now like i'm literally about to start itching right now um so i was watching her snapchat one day and she was talking about this thing called tripophobia and for those of you who know what i'm talking about you're probably cringing 
right now and you're getting goosebumps right now but she talked about this thing called trypophobia and it's pretty much just a phobia of small holes small black holes and when there's a lot of them it makes your skin crawl you get really itchy and you get goosebumps it's it's disgusting to you and talking about it right now i literally have goosebumps i wish you guys could see them on my arms but yeah trypophobia that's one of them that i have and I forgot what it's called when you're afraid of roaches but I have a serious phobia of roaches I literally almost had a heart attack one time when a roach fell on my face when I was sleeping it had been raining outside and I'm from Miami and when it rains they like to come into the house through the drains and everything and it was one in the house and he fell on my face he was he must be was climbing like on the wall or on the window or something and he just so happened to fell on my face to fall on my face and I couldn't go back to sleep that night so yeah those are my two phobias that I have do you bite your nails heck no I think it's gross I've known people who have gotten fungus on their fingers from biting their nails I think it's disgusting and most of the time I always have my nails done I don't have them done right now but I always have acrylic gel on my nails so I'm not biting that have you ever had a near-death experience yes I told y'all I almost had a heart attack from that roach and I told y'all that I almost drowned twice in my life um anything else I've never been in a car accident or anything else like that so I don't think I've had any other near I've never been struck by lightning <laughs> that's weird but um I've never had any other near-death experiences being deployed doesn't count because nothing ever happened to me directly so that doesn't count so no i never had any other near-death experiences do you drink coffee every single day my, my mom makes me coffee every single day and yeah what inspired you to start making videos well a couple of people actually inspired me to start making videos and then where i was living at the time inspired me to start making videos um a bunch of YouTubers like Jackie Anna, she inspired me. Amanda Insing inspired me. Chantel is life. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. She inspired me to start making videos. Um, Makeup Shayla inspired me to start making videos even though she doesn't make YouTube videos anymore. Those people really just got me like, yo, I want to be like them when I grow up. We might be the same age, but I want to be like them when I grow up. And so they inspired me to start making videos and then also I was living in Germany at the time and um, a lot of girls would always ask me how I did my makeup or what did I use or you know even dudes would ask even dudes would ask like you know and say your makeup is so nice what do you use and you know different things like that and so I was like you know what I'm gonna actually start making YouTube videos like these girls that I watch all the time and it went from there once i moved from germany to the states i bought a camera i bought a tripod i bought a ring light and i bought an editing system on my computer and i just recorded a couple of videos they were embarrassing as crap but i was like you know what f that i'm just gonna upload one of them and we're gonna go from there and that's exactly how it started how long have you been on youtube and have you had other channels so I've been on YouTube for a year now. No, I haven't had any other channels. Where do you see yourself in your YouTube channel in five years? Honestly, I had just put up a meme of this on Facebook. It said, where do you see yourself in five years? And there's a picture of a girl standing in this immaculate closet, shoes everywhere. And she just has her hands up and she's like this. And I'm like, me that's where I see myself in five years so literally I see myself being super super comfortable in life and just not having to want for anything I just see myself having an amazing amazing career not just with YouTube but with everything else that I have that I'm aspiring to be I just see myself there in five years I'm not going to talk too much about it because I do want to talk it into existence but I'm going to just keep it under wraps for right now but that's where I see myself in five years and my YouTube channel in five years a million subscribers <laughs> I'm gonna dream big because if you don't dream big then you're not dreaming at all so I see my YouTube channel being at a million subscribers in five years and if it doesn't happen like that it then it, that just means that it's not meant to be that it wasn't supposed to happen like that but it's gonna happen like that 
Do you have any kids? Yes, I have a three-year-old son. His name is Camden Jai Walker. If you were another person, would you be friends with you? I would die to be friends with me, okay? I would kill somebody. I would kill somebody so I could be friends with me. Like, if I were somebody else and somebody else were me and me, the person who's being me, they had a best friend and they were like, I don't want to be best friends with her anymore. I want to be best friends with you, but you have to kill her to be best friends with me. I would kill that person so I could be best friends with me. Y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah. Do people from school find your channel? Once again, I'm not in school right now, but as far as work, yes, people from work have found my channel. People from work are subscribed to my channel. People from work watch my videos. It's a little embarrassing, but the more the merrier, you know, the more people you have to support you. Even if they're not actually supporting me, the more people you have subscribed to your channel, the better. The more people you have watching your videos or just clicking on your videos to see what it's about, the better. So, yeah. People from work have found my YouTube channel. What does your username mean? I do not have a great username. It's just my first and last name. That's it. Favorite small YouTuber. Oh, that's a hard one. That's seriously a hard one. Can I skip that one? Because I don't want to. Favorite small YouTuber. So somebody who I watch. I don't really think I have a favorite small YouTuber. All of the YouTubers that I love watching are bigger YouTubers. There are a few girls that I watch and I love their videos and they are not like, you know, at thousands, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But I think I'm going to skip that one. I think I'm going to just skip that one. So, what's a nickname only your family calls you? I mean, I don't really have a nickname that only my family calls me. Usually everyone just calls me Jazz or Jazzy. My mom used to call me Moo Moo when I was little. She stopped calling me that though. I guess I outgrew that nickname. But other than that, I don't really have any other nicknames. My friends call me OGB, <laughs> which stands for, I'm not even, I'm not even going to go into that, but they, they call me OGB. So yeah, um. I don't really have any, any nicknames that only my family calls me. What's a weird habit of yours? Uh, what's a weird habit of mine? What's a weird habit of mine? I don't... I don't have a weird habit. Like, what? what I'm trying to think of something that I always do that is weird i don't think i have anything skip i don't have any okay what's one of your biggest pet peeves lying that is one of my biggest pet peeves because it is just so easy to tell the truth especially if somebody already knows the truth it's like why are you going to continue to keep lying after they've already told you that they found out the truth or they know the truth and it could be that this doesn't even have to be in a relationship it can be with friends it can be with family it's like why are you steady lying and i already told you that i know the truth and you know that i know the truth you know that i know that we know so why are you still lying yeah uh-uh what's one of your nervous habits um when i keep pulling out my phone like every two seconds you know that i'm nervous if i keep getting on my phone because i always have my phone on me it's either always in my pocket or always in my hand but if i keep looking at it like every few seconds i'll put it down and then i'll pull it back out then that's how you know that i'm nervous and what side of the bed do you sleep on i always sleep on the side of the bed wherever the door is not facing so as of right now the door is facing the right side of my bed i sleep on the left side in my old house the door was facing the left side of my bed i slept on the right side so i don't like sleeping on the side of the bed where the door is so what was your first stuffed animal in its name my first stuffed animal was a barney uh little stuffed animal and his name was barney of course so, what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Thanks to Amanda Ensing, I always order the caramel macchiato upside down extra caramel. 
what's a beauty rule you preach but never actually practice um i actually practice and preach all of my beauty rules but one thing i always forget to do in my videos is set my makeup with setting spray like i'll do it in some videos and then some videos i won't do it and it's like I always forget to set my makeup like why don't I just have the setting spray sitting here and I just set it so that's one thing that I forget to do all the time do you face in the shower towards the water the only time I ever turn around is when I'm washing my back of course but I always face towards the water stream do you have any weird body skills I can pop my hip in and out of place um, I crack my neck all the time. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear this. <sighs> I crack my neck all the time. Um, I can crack my wrist. That just means I'm going to have arthritis when I get older. And I can do this right here. Make my fingers move like that. And <laughs> those are the only weird things that I can do with my body. Uh, and I don't know if those are skills. I just think those are weird body movements what's your favorite comfort food that's bad but you love to eat it anyways pizza hello what's a phrase or exclamation you always say <laughs> it's actually a cuss word so I'm not gonna say it I'm not gonna my friends if they're watching this video they know what I'm talking about but I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Most of the time, I go to sleep in a bra and panties. Most of the time. But other times, I'll have one my pajama dress. I have two pajama dresses. One that I actually wore when I was pregnant. It was my, pater my paternity. Bruh. What? It was Bruh. my maternity um nightgown and then the other one is just from victoria's secret and it's just a dress i think it was like for a summer it was a summer dress but i wear it as a pajama dress now so that is what i sleep in where were you born i was born in miami florida Woo! were you named after someone princess jasmine duh when was the last time you cried I'm a softy. I think it was a couple of days ago. I was watching something. I was watching a fox and a hound. And I got a little teary eyed. So. Do you have any pets? No, but I wish I did. I want a husky puppy so bad. But the wait list for a husky puppy is... We're in 2015 right now. I think the wait list is all the way to the end of 2017. I ain't about that life. Do you use sarcasm? do I use sarcasm no not really I don't, I don't have any I don't have any reason for it would you bungee jump no what is your favorite cereal definitely Reese's Puffs hello peanut butter chocolate what is your eye color my eye color is dark brown scary movies or happy endings scary movies I ain't about that sappy life stuff computer or TV well, I went without TV for months, and I only had my computer and Netflix. Definitely computer. Definitely. What is the first thing you notice about a person? Teeth. Their smile and their teeth. And as bad as that sounds, I hate talking to people with messed up teeth. Not messed up teeth like they, they probably can't afford braces or anything, but I mean like people who dip and don't brush their teeth or they smoke and don't brush their teeth that yeah yeah the first thing i notice about a person is their teeth their smile their gums favorite smell my favorite smell would have to be rain i love how it smells when it's about to rain i love the rain furthest you've been away from home germany that was the furthest i've ever been away from home do you have any special talents? I like to think doing makeup is my special talent. Do you have any hobbies? I like to think YouTube is my hobby. So, are you in love? I 
Okay, you guys, so that was all the questions that I have for my Get to Know Me tag. I hope you guys got to know me a little bit better. If you guys want me to do a Q&A so you can ask your own personal questions, then I would definitely love to do a Q&A video for you guys. You can go ahead and leave those in the comments below, and I will make sure that I make another video getting to know me but it's a Q&A video and I will actually say your name the question you ask and then answer it so I hope you guys enjoy getting to know me a little bit better um, I'm sorry I didn't have more questions I tried to combine so many of them together but I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more and just keep watching so I will see you guys in my next video bye